It's been two and a half years since Mahmoud Osman switched from firewood and charcoal to cooking gas to prepare his meals. He says it's fast, easier, and healthier. But with higher prices eating deep into his earnings, he's wondering if that's a wise move. I used to pay the equivalent of $1.50 for gas in the small cylinder. The price has tripled now. The rising cost of gas for cooking has pushed many in Nigeria to resort to using wood and charcoal. Here at the local charcoal market in Dotsa, new consignments arrive by the truckloads. Business is brisk. We sell two to four hundred bags of charcoal daily. On a very good day, we sell more than five hundred bags. To make those five hundred bags, dozens of trees must have been cut down. Cooking gas usage in Africa's biggest oil and gas producer rose by 60% in 2020, exceeding 1 million metric tons. Sales grew farther last year, but then slowed down due to reductions in supply. The country now has to import gas at higher prices. Importing there is a lot of taxes on it, uh, maybe a custom duty, something like that. So it makes the product to be very high when it landed in the country. So that's the challenges we are having now. The jump in cooking gas prices for Nigerians already struggling with rising inflation is also reversing gains made in protecting trees in a country where 10 million are cut down every year. Officials say they hope increasing people's use of cooking gas will save millions of trees and the environment. But the high jump in prices of liquefied petroleum gas will make that harder to achieve. Nigeria's state oil company blames the rising cost and global price increases. But with the country still importing most of its gas, users are bracing for more price hikes. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Kano, Nigeria.